This is how toxic masculinity changed my life. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Medi. The channel's name is Meditate, kind of like meditate. And I post about all things wellness, personal growth and mindset. And today's topic is about masculinity. And I don't know if it's if saying fragile is the word for it, but it is quite fragile because there's a lot of opinions over this. But uh, yeah, here's mine. So when it comes to toxic masculinity, I really am against it. Like, I don't think it's sustainable for a society as well. The man just ends up being burnt out in the end of his life because he's been keeping this macho image and everyone around you ends up just leaving you or becoming like you, which is quite uh, sad. It's not really a way that a man should live. I feel like a man should be uh, strong and bold, yet kind and understanding. Someone who is, who, when time calls for it, can be a warrior, but then has the emotional intelligence to actually uh, be loving to his family and kind to everyone around him. And that sort of balance is where most men lose themselves. They end up falling too much to the violent side and aggressive side of things and they forget how to be kind or they feel like if they drop that wall of you know drop that persona of being strong that they might be too vulnerable and that'll be taken as weakness but there is strength in that there is strength in being kind there is strength in being vulnerable there is to the right people, being vulnerable to the right people. And there is strength in just letting your walls down because it's easy to put them up. Honestly, it's easy to just be careless and not really care about anyone's opinions and just be macho and aggressive and violent. It just, it to me, just it's not sustainable at all. It just doesn't work. So a man is someone who is focused on his goals, someone who is after his vision, yet can also handle um, being uh, gentle and being kind. A toxic male, I feel, is someone who's just not really uh, in control of his emotions, someone who is pursuing the wrong things in life, like uh, materialistic things, uh, pursuing a lot of women without any meaning, having meaningless sex. You're basically just destroying whoever you're meeting or negatively affecting whoever you're, you're coming across. You can be the, the most successful man out there, but if you don't build the right relationships, if you're not pleasant to be around, then you will end up alone. And when it comes to being a high-value man, I feel like it's his aura that speaks for him. When someone enters a room and is intimidating yet appealing, uh, or you can see that he's strong and bold yet vulnerable and understanding, or you can see that the beast can be switched on at any moment, yet there is that sense of control and discipline and emotional intelligence. I feel that is really, really important to to have as a quality in, in any male in today's society because we need that sense of safety in the world because safety invites quite a lot of things. Safety invites uh, vulnerability, it invites uh, laughter, it invites joy, it invites uh, growth. That is something that a man should be um, holding himself accountable to. And it is bringing safety to himself and to others around him from his actions, from his discipline, from his uh, goals in life, from his routines, from how he carries himself, from how he speaks to other people, from how he is not affected by other people's uh, negativity or energies. It takes a lot to maintain those kinds of qualities. But that is 
why you are considered a high value man is because you are putting in the work behind the scenes and that way you bring joy to others you bring safety to others you bring protection to others and to yourself as well and you understand that kindness is not a weakness because your kindness is not just given out to anyone and your kindness as a man is not misconstrued as a weakness to other males because they know that you have your you have gone through what you've gone through in life and you are well and strong enough to stand up for yourself whenever you need to but it's not really about this the strength it's about this the silent power that a high value man uh, holds so at the end of the day a high value man is someone that has the discipline set has the emotional intelligence in check has the sense of um, silent power in check as well which means that you are in control of your life you know what kind of choices you need to make and you are the person that other people come to for advice for help and for just a good time as well at the end of the day because it's it's you know it's not being serious all the time of course so it's uh, it's all these qualities and i know i i missed a few i probably should have written down uh, in depth but i think i'm going to do a future video about it and i hope it helps you uh, sort of think of what it's like to be a man in today's society as well and to try to sway yourself from you know the toxic side of things and from the um, trying to prove yourself in a violent manner in order to get respect because that just won't it won't last and it just doesn't work people when people are scared of you they don't respect you they're just scared and fear invites negative emotions and i feel like if people were to admire you and were inspired by you you would get a really higher quality of respect so on that note have an amazing day have an amazing week and i think i'll end the video right here